There were fears that protests in Ferguson would turn violent following news of another young African-American killed at the hands of two police officers in St. Louis. However, last night's protests in Ferguson were the most peaceful since demonstrations began against the death of Michael Brown. I'm definitely here to support his family and the whole Ferguson, St. Louis, but it's, it's, it's for a bigger cause because, you know, the officer that did it has to be charged, and it's good to see that it's really no real chaos right now, you know, from what I've been seeing on TV, but at the end of the day, you really can't blame these people for being angry. But the police did not act accordingly. They arrested 47 people and tried to charge the demonstrators on numerous occasions. And it put us all in a trap day, and they up there calling us dogs and what and everything else and shit, putting, putting us in a cage. The most repeated phrase throughout the night was keep moving. The protesters were chased by police from one place to the next in a seemingly irrational way. The same strategy was used against the press in an apparent attempt to block their work. They want to destroy the demonstration, but they're not going to destroy the demonstration because too many people coming from, from her and coming from afar, you know what I'm saying, to keep it going. And you got people from state to state probably different countries seeing what's going on right now. So it's a movement, you know, so it's not no stopping. Just after 2 a.m., a press conference began in order to display three weapons seized by police. But these words contradict the obvious tension between police and the residents of this area of Missouri. Not surprising, given that another young African-American was shot to death by two white police officers on Tuesday afternoon, just 15 miles from Ferguson. Francesca Emanuel Ferguson, Missouri, Telesur.